It's been almost two months since a gunman shot and killed 58 people at an outdoor concert in Las Vegas. We know who the shooter was, but why he did it remains a mystery. There's actually much about that investigation that we still don't know. We sent Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt back to Las Vegas to search for answers. The uncertainty about an investigation that is certainly affecting the survivors. It sucks. Jen Gibson survived the horror of the Las Vegas massacre. The friend with whom she went to the Route 91 concert, Carrie Barnett, did not. Like many of those who lived through it, Jen is struggling to move on without knowing why it happened. Asking why, for instance, investigators have viewed hundreds of hours of security camera video from the Mandalay Bay Hotel, but have not released any of it to the public. I want to put my trust in like the FBI and whoever else is conducting this investigation, but it's really hard when we don't have any pieces of the puzzle. We have this man's face and we have pictures of the aftermath in his room, but that doesn't do anything for us. Like that doesn't give us answers. Go, go, keep going. Stephen Paddock slaughtered 58 people that night, and since then, police have interviewed hundreds of witnesses, including Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley. They checked Paddock's gun buying records, taken apart his computers, even sent his brain for detailed forensic examination. But still, no red flags. And security experts say we simply may never know how the man became a monster. Unless during that examination of his brain, we find 666 on his brain, uh, and it it turns out he was Satan himself. That might suffice as to the why. And as Las Vegas, the city carries on, as Las Vegas always does, the FBI refuses to comment, and police officials will only say, quote, when we have more information to provide, we will let everybody know. All of which leaves Jen Gibson and the other survivors who now support each other like family deeply frustrated. Once everything is resolved or they can give us more answers, I think a lot of us will start to heal more. And in the absence of factual answers, conspiracy theories fill the vacuum. None of those has any credence, according to officials. So for the moment, we are left with a wealthy man who liked to gamble, who lived quietly, who suddenly decided to buy a lot of guns, devised a complex plan to use them, and then put that plan into horrifying effect. Brett. We'll stay on it. Jonathan Hunt, live in Las Vegas. Jonathan, thank you.